Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to do a little bit of work with background images. Um, so let's see here, I've got a blank web page set up, um, doc type definition for HTML5, HTML tag head section contains title, uh, character encoding meta, and an author meta. I am going to do some internal styles in a moment, so I have a set of style tags in the head section of my page, and now into the body of the page. Let me get a little room to work here. And actually, I really don't need to type much in here, but let me go ahead and start off. I also want to work with some headlines later. So I'm going to do an H group. Okay. Basically, an H group is a new uh, HTML5 element for a group of related headlines. Pretty simple. And I'm going to do H1, and this will be my first headline. And then below that, I think I'll do an H2 um, subtitle headline. So this group of headlines, headline one, headline two, those are both block elements. And uh, H group, by the way, is also a block element. So I've got these really simple, subtle changes, and it's really not going to be that impressive on the web page. If I go over to my browser, which is the Rockmelt browser, um, based off Chrome Engine, then um, there we go. Those are my simple headlines. But let's get some uh, backgrounds in here. So I'm going to head up to my style, and my first rule is going to be for the body of my page. So I'm going to use a type selector for the body. And I'm going to do background image URL. And then the image that I'm going to be using is bg.jpg. Now I'm using the background image property. There's also just the background property, which is a shorthand property. If you're using just the background property, that implies you're going to do um, a number of values separated by a space. Um, I'm going to use the individual properties though just to be very specific about what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do a simple background image. There we go. I'm going to save that, jump back over to my browser, reload, and there we go. So now I've got this tiling background image. Kind of zany looking. Now I'm going to manipulate my H group. Okay. So for my H group I'm going to go ahead and do a background color of white just so you can kind of see how that works. There we go. So now it's clear H group is a block element because that's what block elements do. They take up the full width available to them. And let's see, I think I'll also go ahead and put in a border radius of 10 pixels. Let's see how that looks. There we go. So now I got nice little rounded corners and a little bit of padding of 10 pixels. There we go. Takes care of that. So I didn't want my text to be on top of that repeating background image, and that's what background images do by default. I want to mess around with these headlines a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is, in addition to my headline groups, I'm going to do a text align center. That'll get the text over there. And I want to work with these headlines a bit. So with both of my headlines, I think I'll come down here, and I'm going to do a group selector, H1 and H2. I'm going to do a font size, 180%, and a font family of Verdana. And that's going to make my headlines a little bit bigger here than what they were before. So now I've got some bigger headlines to work with. I'm going to go to my H1 specifically now, and I'm going to start to do a few things with this one. I'll change its color over to a... Uh, a dark, darker blue, and I'm also going to put in some word spacing. And for word spacing, I think I'll put in three M's for now. See what that does for me. A little more than what I wanted, so let me change it down to just one M. An M, by the way, is the width of a capital letter M for the font being used. So it's a variable unit of measurement. First headline looking pretty good. You know, I think I want that H1 to be a little bit bigger. So. Um, I think I'll scale this down. My first, this will just be for my H2, it's 180%. And I think my H1, so they're not equal, I'll do a font size 220%. And it's back to a times. Let's make it 300%. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I've got that first headline subtitle. Now, I want to do something else to my headline one. I want to put a background image on it. And I've got another image to use. Same basic procedure that I did before. Background, image, URL, and then the path to that, to that image. I think mine is called 
blue fa blue flower. It's a GIF image. Got it from one of those free background image sites or clip art sites. There we go. Excellent. So now I've got this background image, but I don't want it to repeat like that. I didn't want this image to occur over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the background repeat property, and I'm going to say no repeat. Don't want that background image to repeat. And by default, it's over here in this far left side. Interesting. Okay. So now let me say I want to change its position. So I'm going to do background position and this is where I can put in two units of measurement okay the first number is going to represent um, the movement across the horizontal axis or the x-axis the second number represents the vertical or the up and down so by default my image is at zero pixels my background image is at zero pixels zero pixels so by putting this in zero from the left zero from the top we're not going to see any movement at all it stays right there but if I change this first number let's say if I change it to 300 pixels we're gonna see this image move to the right 300 pixels so let me save that go to the browser refresh moving it on over there okay so that helps take care of that now in addition to pixels you can also put percentages in so I could do something like 50 percent there we go moves it to the midway point but my text wasn't really that space I want to try to get it in the space there so in order to take care of that I think what I'll do is um, I'll set this to an actual number of pixels how about 350 px there we go. That's looking pretty good, pretty centered. I got kind of lucky on that one. And from there, I say, well, I can't really see all of the background image because my headline wasn't very tall. So another alternative is instead of putting this background image on my headline one, I could take this, cut that out of there, and put it on my headline group. So you can put a background image on an H group, on a headline, on the body of the page, in a div. And let me refresh this. Oops. What did I forget to do? I forgot to take my background image out, so let me cut that out of H1, and I'll put it up here. So now my H group has the background image, the no repeat, and the positioning. Let's fix this up. There we go. So now we're seeing it a little bit better. And now that I can see this whole background image, I also want to adjust its vertical placement. I'm going to change its horizontal to 355. It's vertical. I'll try 100. Oops, a little bit too overzealous there. And then it's just a really matter of playing with the numbers a bit. Okay, start to see it happen in there. Now, just as something else, let's try to change this out. What if I do background size and I were to do something like 130%? Look at that, it's kind of big and blurry over there because it's 130% of its parent container. But I can also do numbers here. What about 150 pixels? And that wasn't very noticeable, so let me try 200 so you can really see the difference. There we go. Now that background image is a little bit bigger, and I could start to play once again with the positioning until I got it exactly where I wanted. So probably not the best background image to use for this demo because it doesn't make very good contrast with my text notice my headline one text is a little bit tough to read there but you can do a lot with background images so we've got the background image property to apply the background image the background repeat property in order to keep it from repeating keep it from tiling background position x-axis y-axis to get it exactly where you want and then the background size to alter the size of that background image.